Hello everyone, this is Argon Matrix, welcome to episode 9 of The Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask. And last time, we saved this old lady, or got her luggage back from the stupid guy who's carrying stuff. Or who is not doing anything suspicious, obviously. Thank you, he didn't make off with them. I can, since he didn't make off with them, I can finally start bomb bags at our shop. Maybe I can put them out tomorrow. Yes, I must thank you. It's a dangerous mask, but you could use it to throw your own fe personal festival fireworks show. Ba 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 ba. You got the blast mask. You can have a blast with B, but you'll lose life energy in the process. Well, thanks for helping me. Take care. Yeah, so basically, that blast mask it turns you into a human bomb, like literally. Yes. See if you we take this out. I like how there's a neat little skull on it. It's like this is deadly. And, like it says, if you just press B here and explode, like it says up there, then you will take damage. But if you put your shield out and then watch me go boom, watch me go boom, that's more like it, then you don't take any damage. Alright. Um, okay, so, we're gonna slow the f flow of time back to a third of its speed. And then there's one other thing that we have to do, really, like, you have to do it pretty much direct, or it's best to do it pretty much directly after the, after you save the old lady. So come talk to this guy and he's like, Stop right there! Have you an errand to run in the mountains? It's dangerous at night, so I cannot allow a child like you to... A sword? My apologies, sir. It was wrong of me to treat you like a child. The mountains of Snowhead lie this way. Be careful. Yeah, whatever, dude. You don't even know how I got this sword if I just jacked it off of somebody. Not that I like jacking people off. Alright. So, uh... Yeah, there's one random thing that we have to do out in Termina Field that is important that you do now. Or, not important, you can do it at any time, really. Um, the night of the first day. Or, after midnight on the night of the first day, anyways. So, yeah. Let's talk to this guy. He's a really weird dancer. He's dancing in the snow in nothing but, like, a bikini bottom or something. I am no longer a part of the living. My sadness to the moon. I haven't felt my dance to... Oh, left my dance to the world. I am filled with regret. Wow, what a poetic soul. Translation? I am as disappointed. Oh, moon. I have died. Dude, poetry doesn't need a translation if you're... If you're a decent human being. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, I plan to bring the world together and stir into a giant melting pot with my dance. If only I'd taught my dance to new... My new dance to someone. The spirit dancer Kamara was added here. The spirit dancer? Does that mean he's not even a real person? Oh, my God. Right, so this guy is a real troubled soul. And what do you do to trouble souls? You want to heal them. Yep. So we're going to play the song of healing for the second time ever. I think this is the only time that you actually have to play... That's, like, actually optional. Or a place where you can optionally play the song of healing to actually accomplish something. Because every other time you play it is required. So. Anyways. Yeah, stop dancing and talk to us. Spread my dance across the world. Train its followers. Translation, I have taught it to you. Now we get into a popular dance craze. Yep, and we're going to celebrate good times. Come on! You got Kamara's mask. Use it to teach dance to the world. So his moves can become as popular as he hoped they would be. A whole text box for the two words and the period there. Wow. I'm counting on you. Translation, I'm counting on you. Ha ha, that's funny. You became the dancer's successor. This was added to your notebook. Oh, we became his successor. Well, you know what that means? It means we have to take his place in the world. Well, I guess we gotta do it. Here we go. Just gotta spend the rest of our game... Th this is gonna be the entire rest of the LP, guys. Just me dancing until the Skull Kid dies. Here we go. Yep, this is awesome, isn't it? Yeah, whatever. You don't You don't have to do that. I was just being so silly. But yeah, this is one of the creepier masks of the game, in my opinion. Like, look at, look at this. Like... Kamar the the image of Kamara's head extends from Link's forehead, and Link does not have a face anymore. It's like freaking, I don't know the what was the Grudge or something? I don't know. But it's really scary looking, man. Oh no, wait, it's from it's from like the Brothers Grimm or something. That like that girl loses her face or something and gets eaten by the evil black thing.
the first time I saw that, I was scared so much, and I had nightmares for like a week. Well, and I don't care. Why did I talk to you anyways? I'm really weird. That way. Alright, um, what do you do with this mask now? Or what do you do with any mask anyways? Well, certain masks don't become real useful until later. But this one becomes useful right about now. See these girls? They're having trouble with their dance, r dance right? Well, let's show them how it's done. Look at the Link. This is so ridiculous. I mean, look, Link dancing, isn't that the most hilarious thing ever? I wish he did this in other games, too. But, sadly, this is the only one where he really dances. He's dancing with two semi-naked girls, too. Go, Link! And the guard's just over there watching us. He's like, whoa. That's trippy, man. Thank you for teaching us those steps. <laughs> you are our master. And we got a piece of heart. Hooray. Alright, the Rosa sisters, twin dancers, ride to your notebook. You stole the hearts of the dancers. Oh, Link. Yeah, you bashful soul, you. Master, you are so cool. Alright, so we're done there. Now there's gonna and now they actually practice the dance nonstop. I don't know what they're dancing for. Are they dancing for the moon to go away? That could be it. Who knows? Alright, um, I think that's pretty much all I want to do for now. In at the night, in the nighttime. In the cold of night. There are only three things that need to be done. Now all three are over. So what now? What now is we're gonna go ahead and pr progress to the dawn of the second day. Yeah. I was kinda contemplating whether you're not going back to the post office to try that ten second bullcrap again. But uh I decided against it. I can do it a lot easier later on, trust me. Alright, there's actually not a whole lot of whole lot more I want to do in the in this in Clock Town for this cycle. Um, but one thing that I do want to do is head over to the bomb shop here. Because remember, the old lady did say that uh, it, that she would start stocking bomb bags at her shop now. Oh, by the way, moo and a rocket ship. Rocket ships are awesome. All right, uh, zero frames dropped. It said that last time and it lagged like a bitch. All right, welcome. And why is he holding a bomb? That's really cool. It's like he's holding it like it's a hacky sack or something. Alright, so here's the bomb bag. 90. Oh, oh, oh. Really? 90 rupees? I have 89. Well, screw. Wait, what? There'll be a fireworks show? What? There'll be a fireworks show on the night before the carnival. You should go see it. Come again. Uh, that's just. Eh, that just annoys me. And there's a Goron here. We're not going to bother with him. We hate Gorons. Gorons. Yes, we must protest against Gorons. They kill people in their sleep. Alright, so let's go to the bank. No, I don't want to deposit rupees. No, fuck. Ah. Alright, talk to you again. Yes. Withdraw rupees. Withdraw rupees. And we have 150 rupees stored. We come to the bank and withdraw one rupee. What's this? It's a waste to take out such a tiny bit, but if you say so. Yeah, that's like going to the bank and taking out a penny. Like, would they even let you do that? I don't know. And even even if they did, it wouldn't be of any use at all. Alright, so talk to this guy again. Welcome, yeah. I'm badass. Alright, and go buy the bomb, big bomb bag, excuse me. Yeah, so this is the... Like, this is the one time where you have to... You, like, don't get the bomb bag, actually, from, like, a dungeon or anything. You get it. You, you buy it. It's really kind of weird. I don't know. Alright, uh, is that the entire... Is that the last thing that I wanted to do in this cycle? I think it actually might be. Um, let me see. I did all that stuff. I'm just thinking of all the stuff I did. Because I feel like I've missed something, but... At the same time, I don't... I can't... I don't... I can't remember what, or can't determine what it is. So, um, I think that's pretty much going to be the end of this recording session, really. And feel free to leave any comments about what I forgot.
because I'm sure there's stuff I forgot. And uh, yeah, in the next episode, we are actually going to adventure outside of Clock Town for more than a minute or so, like we did to do to get the Kamaro mask. So, uh, oh wait, 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 there's one thing I can show. Yes, that's right, that's right, that's right, I d I'm a genius. I remembered the one last thing that I need to show. I am awesome sauce. Yes. There are actually quite a few mini games that I haven't shown in Clock Town, but that's ba mainly because I can't complete them yet, so what would be the point? What's the point of anything if you can't beat it? Or complete it? Or do anything with it? Alright, so here, no, don't, don't, dude, 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 I didn't, I didn't mean to go on here as a Deku girl. I'm an idiot. Take off the mask first, and then jump in the water. That way we don't hop across the water. We can't walk on water like Jesus. So yeah, avoid that sculpture. Come over here, and there's a random crack in this wall. So watch it go, boom! And we get an awesome treasure chest. Hoo-ha! And, whoa, that's weird. Like, Link's, the mask on Link's face is transparent. It's kind of cool. Anyways, that's a silver rupee. This is the second one that you can get in Clock Town. I believe there's another one. But I don't feel the need to show that one yet. Since it's it's hard one to get. Or harder than the other two, anyways. Alright. So that is, I'm pretty sure, that. For this entire recording session now. Um, the last thing I can do is show you the saving of this game. How weird it is, and... Yeah. And it, it can really screw you over if you don't understand it well. So, be sure that you understand it well before, like, making a bad move. Alright, so here's the save point, the owl statue, and you can save your progress and quit here. When you reselect your file, my face will appear by your file name. Well, you know what? Get your face out of my place. This indicates that the next time you reopen the file, you'll resume this playing at this very place and time with your current status. Warning, if you reopen this owl file, then reset without saving an owl statue, you'll lose the progress you saved here. Next time you open the file, you'll restart day one with the status you had when you last saved using the Song of Time. Save your progress and quit playing? Yes. So basically what that means is you can save at this owl statue and then you can go back and reload the file from the owl statue, but if if after that point you reset the game without saving another owl statue or saving using the song of time or anything then you won't be able to reload at the owl statue you last saved at you'll be going you'll go back to the first to the last time you use the song of time i hope that makes some sense to you cuz if it doesn't then i feel bad for you cuz you can completely lose a lot of progress that way so um that's that for this recording session. Hopefully this one actually works out this time. I'm going to try and edit and render and post this video ASAP. So it should be out today, Sunday. So, uh, yeah. Thank you everyone for watching. This is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you, and good night.